next four and a half minutes, you're going to watch an artist sharpen his pencil. That's right, you're going to watch an artist sharpen his pencil. And this is what it's going to look like. And we aren't going to use one of these. We're going to use one of these, a flat blade razor. So one thing to keep in mind here is that you're pushing the pencil into the razor and not the other way around. Why? Because the razor is sharp and it can easily damage the pencil. It can pull the charcoal right out of the middle. It can ruin the pencil. So we're not doing one of these, pushing the razor blade against the pencil. We're doing the opposite. We're pushing the pencil into the razor blade. I'm exposing about an inch of charcoal and then I'm exposing about an inch and a half of the wood below that. And eventually what we're going to do is we're going to build an even taper from the back of the wood to the front of the tip. And it's going to look just like a pencil sharpened in a pencil sharpener. So now that I have the wood exposed, I'm going around and I'm cleaning it up, constantly rotating the pencil in my hand. Um, if I stay on one side for too long, I'm going to end up building a wedge. I clean all of the wood off and I expose a little bit more charcoal, possibly making it a little bit longer. But what I'm doing is I'm taking out in any inconsistencies that are in the wood block portion of it. And then I go to work on the pencil tip, chipping away at the very tip little bit by little bit until it starts to taper. And as I get rid of the front end, then I start to pull back a little bit further and uh, take away from the back end until it has a nice even taper from the front of the tip all the way back into the wood shaft. In fact, all the way back to the paint on the pencil. So you can see here, I'm just kind of cleaning up the pencil tip, taking away any inconsistencies and removing any blemishes that there might be in the charcoal. Then I go back to the wood and I clean it up, taking away any inconsistencies in the wood. So when I lay the pencil down on the piece of paper, if I were to lay it down flat on the paper, the wood would not mar the paper by any means. So cleaning it up, doing any last minute check on the pencil tip, and then we take out the sanding block and we remove any inconsistencies that are left and these are very minor inconsistencies so I'm rotating the pencil in my hand yet again shaving off anything that might be on the surface that gets in the way of the pencil tip. You can do this with vine charcoal, you can do this with pastels, you can do this with any particular material that's soft. I'm just taking away the sharp edge, the bite, the corner on the charcoal, and I'm making an even taper all the way through so that this becomes a nice drawing pencil or drawing charcoal stick. These are very soft, so I have to be careful about how much I take away. But again, it's just making an even taper from the back of the charcoal all the way to the front of the charcoal. Rotating it in my hand to keep it, in, to keep it consistent and to keep it thorough from back to front and front to back. Raw charcoal like this has little blemishes in it and it usually takes a little bit of work to get them out of there. But you can see if you work really delicately with the blade you can get rid of little rocks, little inconsistencies and grains with no sweat. What does this all mean? Well, here we can see the pencil working like a paintbrush. If I use the pencil tip or if I lay it down on the side of the pencil, I should get a nice, even, consistent charcoal stroke, whether it be big or small or tapering. And here again, the charcoal is emulating a paintbrush, either wide blade or narrow blade. We want it to look like the wide brush. We also want it to emulate the narrow brush. Thank you.